Hey guys, if you watched yesterday's video at all, or actually if you watched Wednesday's video, you know that I said there was going to be a bonus video yesterday, and I didn't get it edited on time because I did all that running around yesterday that I forgot what I was doing. I actually was planning on editing it and then Stacy coming over but I ended up running all over town Stacy didn't get to come over either um I ended up running all over town so like I forgot what I was doing I forgot what my plan was and you know what I didn't write it in my planner so you know what I didn't do what I was supposed to do so that video should have went up if it didn't, I'm so sorry. It will go up. But it should have went up sometime yesterday. Just not the time I planned for it to go up. So, I'm going to go ahead today and figure out today is Thursday. So, trash, vacuum, and the bedroom. And last week, I wanted to clean up. Let's go in there. I wanted to clean up in the bedroom because really there's not a lot I can do like over here that's got to be a me and Jeff thing plus Jeff's got a bunch of clothes over there but I can dust this and which otherwise it's not in bad shape it just needs dusting and this is something that we have to use to have volume with this TV because it's surround sound or something. Jeff hooks it up. Anyways. So I need to dust that and I need to straighten this. So that's going to be my task for today is to get that done for the bedroom part. I'm going to vacuum and I'm going to vacuum mop situation thing. Um, use my Tinoco, Tinoco, whatever it is. Some of the parts are gone because Jeff is outside working on the truck hopefully he gets it fixed we will see um let's walk out there and see what's happening he hasn't been working on it very long yet hello sir what are you guys doing what you doing tearing stuff up eating peppermint and tearing stuff up Which part are you tearing up? The heater hose, or is that a, is it a heater hose or yeah. radiator hose? Okay, he's taking the hose off. The one that's like that one, that big one right there. He's changing that one first, I guess. Ooh, it's peeing. Do you need me to do anything? Ah, my foot got wet. All right. Ew. Just water. Because it was leaking, he didn't put any more antifreeze in it. Which it was summertime, so it didn't matter. But he's getting it fixed now so that we can put antifreeze back in it. It's still summer. <laughs> Even though it's supposed to be fall. Why didn't you turn off that light in the bedroom? I mean, really? You went in there. You should have turned it off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fix Noah's tea for him for work. This is not something that I have to do for him. It's just something I do to make it a little bit easier for him. So, he takes this huge thing. came from Walmart. It's tough. Oh, that was cold. The TAL Tall brand. It's huge. I mean, I don't know how. It's like a half gallon. But anyway, I put him tea in it. Looks like I got to make some. And um, he has tea for work. Instead of buying anything. And he doesn't eat at work. He comes home and eats lunch. Ooh, speaking of lunch, which will be my dinner. Which actually, lately, it's been really bad. So don't fuss at me. 
lately I haven't even been eating until supper time and I don't know why I just haven't but I'm taking these out today they are going on a plate on the counter so that we can have those for supper so hold on just a second okay so I can't make the tea I have these little systems set up in my home where that if you use all of something or most of something you write it down um, another one is when you make a gallon of tea you go ahead and prep another gallon like get it steeping because tea is drank that much around this house that you always need some ready to be made well somebody in my house who i gave birth to at least he's the one that most of the time does this didn't do that um I also hit my knuckle. Uh, Y'all can't see it. Don't matter. It's just a little scrape. Uh, but yeah. If my systems... I've got other systems too. If my systems aren't followed... I can't do things the way I want to. Um, if my systems aren't followed... Everyone has to wait. <laughs> So anyway, it's fine. I've still got plenty of time to let that steep and then make it and then go ahead and have his jug ready. But yeah, there are some systems in the house that sometimes people remember them, other times they don't. I don't know why. Um... Most of my systems, though, only involve me. It's like things that I do to make my life easier when taking care of the home. <laughs> but there are a few that involve everyone who lives here. Like the tea part, which actually is just Jeff and Noah drinking tea. I used to drink tea. I don't know if I just said this or not. But a few years ago, a couple years ago, I got to the point where I just didn't want iced tea. Now, I still drink hot tea, but I just don't want iced tea. And I don't know why. But lately, I've been kind of wanting it again. So, I'm thinking I might try it again. But I just, it tastes, it started tasting like water with a tiny bit of tea flavor. It was like watered down tea is what it tasted like. And it wasn't made any different than ever before. I think it was just me. So, I don't know. It may have been a medication that I was on at, this, at that time. Because I know a couple years ago, I was on a medication for my blood pressure that it caused me to have a dry cough. It caused me to smell like metal stuff. So, you know what? It took me talking to y'all about it to think about it. It's probably part of it. I don't know if it was that time or not. I don't remember. But it could have been. Maybe I need to try tea again. It's fine. Anyways. Um, but yeah, I have little systems in my home that help me to do things. And when I don't follow my systems, like yesterday, I didn't write things in my planner. I didn't get my video up. Let's see if it's it's uploading, but it ain't there yet. I was so just annoyed with myself. I couldn't believe I did it. It's fine though. I mean, you guys understand. And it wasn't like one of my planner videos that I normally put out. It was just a bonus one because I've decided to start... Um, doing my monthlies separate instead of doing them with the same video partially because I forgot to do it <laughs> I really forgot this month to do any of the monthly things except 
I figured it out before I did my faith planner. <laughs> Which is the one I would have been really upset at myself with if I had forgotten <laughs> and done it wrong. But anyway, I'm going to go for a few minutes. Um, my chores today are the bedroom, the floors, and what was the other thing? Bedroom, floors, trash. Trash. It's got to go out. Um, <clears throat> bedroom, floors, trash, and... I don't have any clothes to wash so I'm kind of confused about that <laughs> I don't know how I don't have clothes to wash I don't know what I've done because nobody went naked <laughs> so um I don't have any clothes to wash and the dishes I gotta take those out of the dishwasher but that's not a big deal. And I did take that pork chop out of the refrigerator so we could cook it tonight. And um, I know I said we were going to have that Saturday. Probably. Maybe I should ask Jeff if he wants it Saturday and still just go ahead and do the burgers tonight. Because we do need to eat those buns. Now I don't know, y'all. Let me go ask him. Okay, so we're going back to the original plan of burgers tonight, pork chops on Saturday. And the reason why I was kind of questioning that is because Jeff was supposed to smoke a Boston butt on Sunday. Guess what? We didn't take it out of the freezer. There's no way it'll be thawed by Sunday. If we took it out today and put it in the refrigerator to thaw, there's no way. No way. So, the Boston butt will have to be next week. And I've already got next week's menu plan started. So, ah, I wanted that Boston butt. <laughs> I wanted the pork sandwiches. Oh my goodness, that means I've got to change two meals. Okay, so the Boston butt is going to go to the next Sunday. And I told Jeff just now, I said we've got to figure out a plan of taking things out of the freezer and putting them in that old refrigerator again. I can't, let me put y'all down and I'll talk to y'all while I'm writing. But I can't keep doing this crazy circus of not knowing what I'm gonna cook. Is that better? I don't know. Got my hair down today because I have a slight headache. This tripod that I'm using right now is really too short. Let me swap tripods out. Okay, so I have my other tripod, which is taller than this one. It's about that much taller, which helps. But it's one of the Joby brands. And when I bought it, there was a lot of YouTubers using it. A lot of vloggers. Um, there still are a lot of them using it. Um... I mean big YouTubers, not just, you know, like me. But <laughs> anyways, when I got it, I was like, oh, well, that must be really good because they're always using it. I see them with it all the time. And um, finally, I saw one of them say the brand name. And at first, I thought it was just, I can't remember that family's name. But anyway, at first, I thought it was just they had named their tripod <laughs> then I found out it was actual brand name well I got it because I thought it was really good then later after I got it and the one of the legs it's got like little balls that go up in there it's like a ball joint or whatever well the joint that it goes into or the the socket they have a bad habit of cracking and that was cracked on one of the legs so yeah so i have had to sit here and figure out the difference of what we're doing with our dinners i had to get rid of i had to change the days i thought i was getting ahead with the menu plan i was wrong but now i have to figure out what we're gonna have for sunday because that's only in a few days and i don't know what to put down because remember we're going to try not to go out to eat. And I definitely need to be on top of this. So, 
we'll have the pork chops on Saturday. And then I moved the Boston butt to the next Sunday and the barbecue baked potatoes to the next Wednesday. And then I put a, the freezer lazy lasagna in for Tuesday, which was going to be the barbecue baked potatoes. We really need to eat that lazy lasagna that I have in the freezer because it's been there a couple months and I don't want it to get gross or weird or anything like that. So we need to get that eaten. I also have to remember to put extra mozzarella on top because I don't have it. See, I remembered it. How did I remember that? I don't know. Um, I remembered I didn't have enough that day. But I got to figure out Sunday. I don't know what to have. I guess we could have some sort of chicken. But I don't know what kind. We'll just put chicken on here. And we will either grill it or I'll cook it inside. Then I've got to figure out that Saturday, but that's fine. Hello? It's Jeff triggering the alarm. But, um, if it's not Jeff, who's in my yard? It's got to be Jeff because he's the one there. So. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Yeah, it was Jeff. It was him. I could talk to him while he's out there through my phone on the app. I don't know if he'd hear me. Oh, nope, because he's coming inside. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him I was spying on him. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out what I'm doing which is, I don't know what. Because I really don't want to do anything until he leaves. Because he might need me to do something and I don't. I'm going to go finish the tea. It should have been long enough by now. I'm going to go finish the tea. I'll be back. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I can sit the camera while I'm doing this kind of stuff. I guess I can get my bog pot out. But that's a whole other tripod I got to swap to. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to put it. So, it's kind of dark in here too. Let's see if I can sit it over here for the TV area. Make y'all completely like dizzy and drunk from it. Y'all can kind of see it, it's fine. Anyway, I'm probably going to talk while I'm doing it anyways. This back here is like perfume and lotion and stuff in this basket. I don't know how good y'all can see over here. It's so dark. But I just did what I'm not supposed to do. What am I doing? I don't know where I'm at today, y'all. I don't know. My brain is not computing. I did what I'm not supposed to do. This TV is one that we had when we moved here. We bought it because the TV that we had, we had bought when I was 17. And we had it up until I was like 35. Because we had, no, 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 no. We had it until I was probably about 33, 34. Probably 34. Because this TV, we got to replace it. Because that TV, like, was one of those big, old-fashioned ones that, the, you know, it had the actual screen in it that, and then the big back and all that stuff. Well, the screen fell out. Like, it, it, it literally fell out of the TV. Like, the glue let go. <laughs> That's what it was like. This TV rarely gets turned on. Maybe once or twice a year. I don't know why we even have it. I mean, it's a good TV, but I don't know why that we have it. So that is done. If I 
second. I can't reach in there. I'm not going to worry about it today. Anyway, that's the story of that television. <laughs> story time, kids. All right, let me see if I can get y'all situated over here for the vanity. It's just going to kind of be a... This is, okay, this is more like you can see that. I don't know, it's kind of done. It. All right, here's the problem. Some of this stuff does not belong on here and I don't know where it belongs. This, Selena had in her room, is something that um, I used to have on her shoes when she was a baby. Uh, there's actually two of them. She said she didn't even know why it was in there. So, I won't be getting rid of it because it is something I kept because of it was my baby's. Okay, here's an extra button for something. I'll put that in my sewing kit. And this thing is a massager. It does not belong here. I don't know if it'll fit in the bag with all the rest of its paraphernalia or not. Close enough. Maybe if I put it all the way to the bottom. Yeah, it'll fit. Alright, I'm going to put that somewhere else. I don't know where, but not in here. Okay, this is that foot cream I bought the other day, and I like it, but, I mean, it's not as good as the other kind, but it's okay. I'm using it. I'm going to keep using it. I'm not going to throw it away, for sure, because it still works. These are empty containers, and I have these because some of my Simply Earth stuff, which I've paused my Simply Earth subscription right now because I'm trying to save money, and I have tons of essential oils right now. But anyways, they have these recipes that you need a glass jar for and instead of me buying one I'm gonna recycle these you can I've already taken the labels off this one but you can take the labels off and just reuse it and I can relabel like the top so it won't say L'Oreal but this is not the place for them so I'm gonna put them with my essential oil stuff so I'll do that when I go back in there <clears throat> why I don't know another why it's a bread tie type situation even though it's not really a bread tie it's from something else i know why that was there because i just threw it on my desk last night this is from my knife i don't know if i need that anymore i don't think i do all right all these creams need to go in this thing where they belong this is the cleaner i'm using Okay, is this a face, any of this face creams? No, so it doesn't need to go in that part. It needs, oh, it needs to go over here. I don't know if it will fit. See, I have all these different hand creams and different moisturizers and lotions and all this stuff this one's not gonna fit so I'll just stick it on the top here stick it behind Jeff this is a hand sanitizer that was in a purse but I don't need it in a purse and these were in a purse and I don't use the disposable kind anymore um, except in certain situations but I'm not throwing them away there's nothing wrong with them I put them in the bathroom with other things like that I don't know where to put this other than I'll just stick it back on that I know y'all can't see what that is but I'm doing it and this is what I bought yesterday um, sweat and water resistant for 80 minutes 
Is this just a sunblock? I thought it was a face lotion too. Did I do something? No, it's lotion for your face, but um, it's got a lot of sunblock in it. Um, I think I'll put it with our other stuff. And this I got from that other store, which I've wanted to go back to, which I can't do in October. <laughs> can't do it in October, so can't. There's certain stores I definitely cannot go to. I'm wondering, I wanted to go to Darlene's. <laughs> I've been planning on going to Darlene's for over a month and I haven't done it. I don't know where to put this though. And this is the straightener that Selena always used, but she didn't take it with her because she didn't come in the bedroom the day she left, so. I guess she'll get it one day if she wants it. All right, so now I'm just gonna spray this down and just clean it off. See, it wasn't much, it's just stuff out of place, which is annoying that I do that, but I do it, everybody does it. And all this over here is just all kind of hair stuff and lotion and I don't even know anymore what some of this stuff, like, I know what it is, but I don't know why I have so much. I'm just going to stick this in here because I really don't know if I need that or not. But I know where this stuff goes. I would love to clean off Jeff's dresser. There's no way I'm going to go through all that stuff. I get it cleaned up and then he just throws it on there. We're gonna have to have a discussion. <laughs> it's loud in this room, let's get out. I don't know what I talked about last, but anyways, Jeff is still working on that out there. Let me, I'm gonna sit y'all down for a moment cause I need to get into the freezer and I need both hands. So y'all just hang out there and look in the freezer or something. I don't know what you're looking at. Oh, please don't fall. <laughs> what is that? Cheese. It's cheese. Anyways, I need to get Jeff one of these lasagnas out. Because, um... Is that cheese? Yeah, that's cheese. I don't know why that I looked at it that way. Okay, that mozzarella that I got. I don't remember. Anyway, I tried to shred it. Y'all remember that? That mozzarella, the part of it was rounded and that's why that threw me off. All right, so I'm going to throw him one of these lasagnas that I had made in the oven, but it's frozen. So what I'm gonna do is from frozen, I'm gonna stick it in here, but I'm now, just now gonna turn on the oven. I'm not gonna have it preheated. That way the bowl, the, the all of it heats at the same time and it won't crack my glass. At least it shouldn't. It never has before and that's the way I was taught to do it. If it's wrong, somebody else taught me wrong. <laughs> remember how I learned to do that but it's like instead of it going into shock and just automatically like from cold to hot it's slowly reaching that temperature with the oven and I've never had a problem before and I want to say it was a website that from like Pyrex or something but anyway Jeff is working on the truck still he said he did have a couple minutes, uh, a little bit of um, rough times because um, the heater hose that he had to have the special tool for, it didn't want to come off, but he did get it off and now he's putting a new one on. Uh, um, he's got 
I don't know what all he's gotten done, but he told me, he said, I did forget you to tell you to get something. And I said, what? What did you forget? Antifreeze. That's okay, though. We'll run over to Walmart and get some. Maybe tomorrow morning or something. Because I'm not going anywhere today. It's fine. And I don't even know if the truck will be finished today. And even if I was going somewhere and the truck wasn't finished, if it didn't have the antifreeze in it, I wouldn't try to drive it. I would just steal Noah's Camaro or something. Drive that vintage car. <laughs> I don't like driving this car. Not because I don't like driving Camaros and stuff like that, but because, and I probably said this before, but I don't want to, I don't want anything to happen to it. And if someone else, um, that was bugging me. If someone else like hit me while I was driving his car, I would feel so bad, <laughs> even if it wasn't my fault. So anyways, um, just wanted to let you know how I was doing that. And I don't know if it was my coffee this morning. I don't know if something else is going on with me, but I have a stomach ache like I've never had before, or no, that's just dumb. Like I haven't had in a long time. It's not like I've never had before. It's not like I've had worse. It's just confusing. I don't know why it's here. But I have a tummy ache down now. And I don't like it. So anyways. Um, I got the bedroom done. All that I'm doing to it. I will vacuum the floor. And I'm going to vacuum in here. And I'm going to vacuum mop the rest. Y'all, I'm loving that thing. I feel so much better able to do my floors. And I know that it's not like a perfect deep down mop. But honestly, it's so much better than not having it done at all. And it it's no different for me than pushing a vacuum. Actually, it may be a little bit easier than pushing a vacuum because it has the self-propelled. I need to stop talking about it. Tinoco can sponsor me maybe. <laughs> they won't. I'm too small. But anyway, I'm going to go. And um, I'll be back when I start doing something. And I'm probably not going to share supper tonight because it's just going to be like, I'm going to let Noah choose if he wants like, we're going to have burgers, but we might have chips or we might have um, tater tots or we may have fries. I'm going to let him choose. I will tell you which one we had with it. But I'm not going to bother showing you how to how I'm cooking them because I'm just putting salt and pepper on them. And they're already made up. I, I've made them up before I put them in the freezer. I don't have any of those pre-made ones you buy from that I buy from Sam's. I don't have any of those right now. I just have ones that I already did beforehand. I, I meal prepped. Anyway, I, I'm going to go. I'll be back. So I was wrong about clothes today because Noah had enough in his hamper and what is in this hamper. And if I take the kitchen curtain down, which I've been wanting to wash it anyway, there'll be a load, one load. So I'm gonna do clothes anyway. So um, I'm about to do that. Jeffrey, can you take the curtain down in the kitchen? I gotta get the hamper. I didn't get the hamper. That's what I came in this room for is to get our hamper. His are already in the washer, so I'm gonna wash clothes. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to, we got nothing to lose You're looking so old, you're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you Room. Tell me what you want to do Baby, let me love you
place I'll take you anywhere you want As long as we're together Everything we'll do You got me going on Baby, let me love you. should not have ran that dishwasher last night there wasn't even half full but I wasn't thinking when I turned it on it was just like automatic I turned it on but it's okay they're clean now the wind is blowing a lot and I know that by the time that we see this or y'all see this um, the storm has already gone through Florida and everything most likely I think it's still in Florida right this moment but the devastation that I've seen just the little bit that I've seen we need to pray for these people that are living in the path of this of Ian um, before of course the storms ever hit we need to do that during the storms and after because that's when people are trying to put their lives back together and um it's just it's devastating i think they said that there will probably be hundreds of people who lose their lives i don't know if it's true or not i don't know but i know there's a lot of people without power right now but um i just wanted to mention that because i looked outside and it's beautiful here but the things i've seen it's not beautiful in florida and we're not affected by it other than a little bit of wind and it's not even enough to even think about it's not even enough wind to think about but anyway um i'm editing a video now i know there's things in the garden that we need to get out of it but jeff told me that we do it tomorrow or something um I don't know if I mentioned it, but he did get all the parts put on the truck. So if I didn't mention it, I mention it now and we got to get the antifreeze. And um, I'm going to go ahead and finish editing this planner video so they can come out tomorrow. And I've got to record my other two for Saturday and Sunday. So I got to get to work. I need to vacuum and vacuum mop the floors, but it feels like I just did it. I'm thinking about swapping the day for vacuuming. Like, I know you, we, okay. Let, let me put it, let me, let me, let me just sit the camera down. I'll be right back. Okay, so technically, I don't know how often you're supposed to vacuum. And I don't know how often you're supposed to mop. We didn't even have a vacuum growing up because we didn't have any carpet in our house. I don't even really remember rugs. I don't even know if we had rugs. I don't 
don't even know if mama has rugs now. I Man, I know she has carpet. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, she doesn't live in the house that we, that I grew up in because I grew up in different ones. But anywho's, I don't know how often you're supposed to do those chores. But like, we do spot mops here. We do, like last night, Noah spilled some stuff in the kitchen and he vacuumed because he spilled some cereal <laughs> in the kitchen. So he vacuumed it up. Instead of grabbing a broom, he just grabbed the vacuum. So we do that kind of thing. But what I do on Tuesdays and Thursdays is I just do the whole house, like everywhere that I can reach without moving furniture. And sometimes we move like the furniture, but that's not, That'll be like more of a Jeff's helping me kind of situation where that we move the sofa and stuff. Um, that's not like my weekly chores. That's a big chore day or whatever you want to call it. Deep cleaning. Deep, deep cleaning. <laughs> um, so I don't know how often you're supposed to do it, but me recording it is making re me realize that I'm doing it like I do it on Tuesday and Thursday I think I should change that and I think what I should do is possibly change well see on Wednesdays the stuff I do uh, the stuff I'm supposed to do, I don't even have anything to do most of the time for living and dining room. Because like I explained, those rooms are attached and I just do it at the same time. Um, so I'm thinking I need to reevaluate the way I do things. Now that doesn't mean I'm not going to sweep in or I'm not going to vacuum and all that stuff today. That doesn't mean that. I'm still going to do it today. But I think I need to sit down and reevaluate the way I, the days that I clean certain things because I think that it would make more sense to have a couple more days between the big mop and vacuum. Um, but like I said, if we see something in the floor, we vacuum it. If we see something in the floor, we clean it, but we don't do like a big area. And there's all adults in this house. So it's not like we have little kids running around dropping things. And the dogs usually don't eat inside the house. So they're not making a mess. And then the cat doesn't make a mess. So I really think I need to reevaluate the floors and well, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Some of those tasks. I think I need to reevaluate it. And maybe put some days between those or something. I don't know. I need to look into that. <laughs> and I just, me recording this, me doing this type of video and me actually, I've been thinking about my cleaning routine and stuff uh, the last few days. It's got me wondering like, why do I have it set up this way? Because it really doesn't make sense. It doesn't. So I need to reevaluate it. I need to do something different. But I am still going to go ahead and vacuum and mop today. But, uh, um, I mean, I don't even know if I should, but I am. <laughs> How often are you supposed to vacuum and mop? <sighs> or sweep and mop and vacuum? How often are you supposed to do that? I don't know. And I know that whenever I had little kids, especially toddlers, but when I had little kids that were on the floor a lot, I did it a lot more often. Like, I was cleaning the floors all the time whenever they were little. But as they got older, it wasn't necessary. And another thing is, um, we don't like walk around with shoes in our house a lot of the time. Like, we take them off. So, we're not walking around with shoes on. So, we're not bringing stuff from outside. And we have rugs to wipe our feet from going outside. So, I don't know. 
know, y'all. I don't know. I need to start thinking about this stuff. It may, no, actually, no. I don't need to start thinking about this stuff. I am thinking about this stuff, and you guys have helped me think about it without even trying. <laughs> so I need to kind of figure it out because I think my cleaning routine is redundant in some situations, in some spots, I think, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, it is time for me to get back to this editing. I need to finish this up. Because if not, it won't be out at six in the morning. And what did I do to myself? I also need to have it done so that I can edit the video I'm recording right now for tomorrow. So I'll be back. I wanted to show y'all, that thing's loud. Okay, I wanted to show y'all something and um, it's something I don't understand about this house. And it's something that I don't know what to do about other than I'll just show you. I'll show you. Okay. So we took the thing down to clean it. Um, we have two sets of windows. Yes, I need to clean the window. But even if I clean this inside, that outside is totally nasty. But it's not the outside of the window as much as it is between this window and that window. Because they put storm windows on here. And so, let me flip that back up. So for us to clean the outside of this window and the inside of the other window, we have to take the outside one completely off or we have to pay a company to come do it. And y'all know that ain't gonna happen. So, like the screen and everything to clean it for the outside part it's a nightmare so that's one reason why when I say you know cleaning windows is not easy in this house I have never understood why that they did that and if this was going to be a forever home for us we would totally change the type of windows in this house um, to be one set of windows that way you could clean the inside and outside but with the way that they are they're a little bit more burglar proof because they have two locks you have to go through if they can do that <laughs> and you also have to break like two sets of glass and um i don't think somebody's body could go through that unless they're too like super tiny oh i hit my nose with my little doodad on here Unless they're like super tiny or something. But yeah, I would say that that is embarrassing to me, but it's not. <laughs> and the reason why that that is not embarrassing for it to be like that is because it is between two panes of glass that I cannot do. I can't clean it out. Jeff and I have talked about just doing a couple windows at a time and taking them off cleaning them real good and putting them back because once you have them cleaned they'll be good on the inside for a couple of years but i don't i mean these windows have never honestly been cleaned since we moved in what would you do i mean we're not living here forever we don't want to be in this home forever at least that's the plan is to move back to the country but what would you do about the windows like how would you go about cleaning them would you just not worry about between the panes and just clean the outside pane and the inside pane and do the best you can or would you go to the trouble of taking the outside window off because that's that's a lot to take the whole entire window off i don't know have y'all ever seen anything like that before? 
because we have it. In fact, the uh, old sliding glass door as well, um, it had like, I guess where the, the lady that lived here before, the family that lived here before had dogs that was scratched on the door. The whole bottom of the door, probably like two feet up, was all scratched up. Like they were begging to get in all the time and never could or something. I don't know. It's weird. Jeff said it was claw marks. I mean, it was like scratches from dogs. So, I mean, it, for years and years, the people lived here. So, it could have been years of damage. And, you know, I'm not saying they mistreated their animals. I don't think they did. I don't know. I don't know them. I never did know them. But anyway, windows. That's why I don't do windows. I do clean the insides though. I clean the frame and the panes. <laughs> I do the best I can with what I can get to. But yeah, it's crazy. And that, that, that line, that thing there, that's an extension cord that goes from the back to the front. And Jeff leaves it up there all year long, but we only use it around Christmas time. <laughs> And he does use it sometimes for like doing leaf blowing and stuff. And whenever we use the pressure washer. So we use it more often than I thought. Or more often than I was thinking. Anyway, I'll be back later. I just wanted to talk about the windows since we took that curtain down. It's really weird having nothing there. And there's no neighbor on that side because dude just disappeared. Like he's literally still paying rent but he does not live there anymore. So, it's weird. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it because the, I saw it. It's there. And I do need to clean this one. Because it's dirty. Inside and out. But, yeah. I'll get to it. I, I, I haven't been cleaning the outside because it had rained. It was raining so much. And um, now it's not raining like it was, but I haven't thought about it until I started talking about cleaning windows. I don't know. Maybe I need to put that on my Tuesdays. <laughs> Clean the sliding glass door. I don't know. Anyways, I'll be back. were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together ooh. One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand 
held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing. Song, and they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show oh, They're in love now And I wanted you to know Okay, so It seems as though the last person that used the vacuum mop, me, I did it, me, me. Um, she forgot to, I'm the only girl in this house now, other than dogs and cat, and they don't have thumbs. Um, forgot to plug it up to charge it, so I can't use it today. I mean, I could wait four hours, but by then I'll be editing this video and I'm not going to <laughs> wait because I want to be able to keep them on time. But something I did want to tell y'all, I went ahead and put my curtain back up. I put my curtains back up. My shower curtains, my window curtains, all of them back up wet. I have different reasons for this. One, it saves on the energy bill because the dryer doesn't have to dry it. <laughs> Two, whenever it dries here, it will conform to the window. Three, less wrinkles. Four, the smell of it is nice. <laughs> so I'm fixing to start supper and I know I said I wasn't going to share it, but um, I'm just going to tell y'all what we're having. We're having burgers. I told you. <laughs> Good grief. I can't think. Um, here's why. We're having tater tots. Tater tots. But I keep wanting to call them hash browns. So that's why. You know what? I should throw up some hash browns. That sounded bad. I should throw in some hash browns instead of tater tots <laughs> and make it a joke for Noah, but <sighs> no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it would be good though. Maybe I'll text him. I'm going to text him real quick. I'm going to get the burger started, then I'm going to text him. And if we decide to have hash browns instead, I'll let you know. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I saw much time Looping in the blurry lights Don't look, like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my 
So I've just finished cleaning up the kitchen and got me some more water. Noah just left um, to go back to work. He has his belly full and he's going back to work. And now I'm gonna sit here and finish editing this video that, well, no, I'm not editing it anymore. I'm uploading it and I have to do all the other YouTube stuff once it gets onto YouTube. So I'm gonna do that and then as soon as that one is done, I'm gonna edit the video that I am currently recording <laughs> so that it can go, come out on time. So I think I got the bedroom stuff that I wanted to do done and I vacuumed and like I said, I forgot to charge that mop don't know why I didn't think to plug it in. I think the reason why I didn't plug it in is because I was thinking about cleaning up all the other stuff. Um, you know, like the little tank and the... Let me put y'all down. Y'all get heavy sometimes. Um, but let me... This is crooked. Okay. Better? No? No. Not better at all. It's bad. Okay. So, now I've got my head all kind of not in frame anyway i think i forgot to i'm crooked so crooked okay whatever it's fine whatever i forgot to plug it up because i'm not used to washing all that at that time like i haven't had it long i have to get used to it but i have been thinking about um The way I want to start doing my cleaning routine, I want to change it up a little bit. Some is going to stay exactly the same, but some of it just doesn't make sense. And I didn't even realize it didn't make sense until I started watching myself do it every day. Because uh, I, I, <laughs> I really wasn't paying attention. I was just like robot mode. But now I'm recording it and then I'm seeing it in replay when I'm editing it and I'm like, why do I do that like that? <laughs> so, I'm going to try to come up with a better way. And here's my tip for today. <laughs> if something's not working for you, change it. Also, even if something is working for you, if it gets redundant and boring and you just dread it, change it. If you find that something's working but it's not working as well as you would like, change it. It's yours. Do what you want with it. Every single routine I've ever set up in my home, um, when it's only involving me, I do what I want with it. Now, if it's something, I got water under my ring, so I was drying it. So if it's something that, you know, Jeff or the kids, well, were involved in, then I would consult them, so that is important consult the people that are involved don't just change it without them knowing it and um let's see tomorrow i either i was on friday the day you actually see this i was either supposed to go to stacy's or she was supposed to come here but i don't know which one and um i had sent her a text earlier but either she, no, she hasn't gotten it yet. That makes me wonder. So, I mean, I don't know if maybe she just didn't see it yet. I don't know. She did have an appointment today, so she just might not have seen it yet. At least I think it was to. I think she had an appointment or somebody was supposed to come over for something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's not my piece. But <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's all I have for today. I don't know of anything else that I need to talk about. I don't know of anything else I need to do that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I am going to be, as soon as this video is uploaded completely, I'm going to be recording my Stalogy and Faith Planner or Faith Journals the the weekly spreads for those so i can have them ready for monday so i won't be doing things that i'm sharing with you right now but you'll see it later <laughs> if you want to watch it 
but for now i'm gonna go i hope you guys did enjoy this today oh and i did fold clothes earlier and you saw that but i hope you enjoyed this i hope that you're having a wonderful evening or morning whenever you're watching this and i hope to see you again next time if you did like it go ahead and do all the youtube things if you don't know what the youtube things are just go ahead and leave me a comment down below and ask me and i'll tell you or someone else will also most importantly leave me a comment down below tell me how you're doing because i really want to know how you guys are i don't just ask just to be saying something i really genuinely want to know especially all of you who have been in the path of ian i really want to know which i think at one point they did have the storm coming toward us but then it figured another way and we have not i'm just going to go ahead and let you know we're fine we have not gotten anything but a little bit of wind and it's not even it feels like just fall wind it feels like normal wind that you get in the fall so we're fine i want to know if you are or if you have family that's there or anything like that if you can well if you're watching this you can hopefully tell me which i know that if you're watching on your tv or something which is some the way i do sometimes you can't comment but i would like to know how you guys are doing um and i guess that's it thank you again for hanging out with me today and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet <laughs>